All right, I've, I've decided to make a video because I'm at that stage uh, where Michael Douglas decides that he lost his mind in this movie called Falling Down. Well, this is my version of Falling Down, okay? eBay and all kind of other, Transtar and a bunch of other companies are so full of shit when it comes to identifying tail shafts, okay, output shafts for 4R100, E4OD, etc. This really drove me nuts, okay? So before I pull out the Uzi and spray the payphone in the movie, I'm going to go ahead and make my own version of this video that's politically correct, okay? Output shafts. This come out of my 4R100. This is a 1999 model, okay? 06 and 99. This is called a cup plug. This is in the end of the shaft. When they ask you bushing or cup plug, bushing means that there's a bushing in here made out of bronze, brass, or some other material that a little dick sticks in here and it rides like that. So the two shafts are connected. Two shafts are connected. Riding each other. Right? It's not really the shaft, it's something else. I forgot the name of the part right off the top of my head. Those are E4ODs. But some 4100s can't claim that they have bushings. Hmm. Okay? This is wrong. An E4OD uses a cup plug. Some may use a bushing, but a cup plug is a cup plug. That's it. It's got a little hole in it. You could blow through it. Oil, air, whatever comes out of here to lubricate the rest of this shit. Okay? I beat the parking gear off mine, That's which was on here. It butts up against here. This is your spiral grooves, your your speedo, speedo gear. gear that's machined into the shaft. Some have these little ridges where the rubber little boot goes over. Some do not. That one. Some do not have ridges. Look, this has a rubber boot. This has something called a reluctor wheel. This is magnetic. It reads on a magnetic pulse. From a magnetic sensor. Goes From a magnetic top. sensor, usually at the top of the trans case. On the side of the trans case is where you catch this. Okay? That's for the older. This is called a VSS sensor, okay? Here's an example. It's an example of a side hole. Shaft goes through the motherfucker like this. And you read it. And it reads it like that. A VSS sensor looks like this. Okay, you eBay dumb fucks. Okay, this is an orange one. This come off of mine. This has 20 teeth on it. This one come off of an earlier model, Expedition. Expedition. Late the, model E4OD. Late model E4OD. This has 21. 21 teeth. You guessed it. So it rides against it like that. Okay? It's just like an old school Speedo cable, except it relays an electronic signal to the speedometer. And to the PCM to tell you how fucking fast you're going. Okay. And some have the differential speed sensor, some don't. All right. Yeah, that's where it gets complicated. So what I have is an early model e e four zero one hundred slash e o e four o d hybrid, where they interchanged. The the reason that that is is because e four o d uses thrust washers, especially right here where this baron is. Okay. Instead of a bearing, it'd be a big old nasty thrust washer. A big old notch. Okay, my transmission had a bearing here. Here's my transmission covered up. Okay, let me show you the bearing for my transmission. Right back here. Right, right, right here. here. Never mind. Here's my bearing. When the trans shop rebuilt my transmission, they did not replace this bearing, but it should have been a warning sign. That these big gouge indentations meant that something went wrong with the tail shaft. Like maybe the vehicle was in an accident before I owned it. Which could have warped or bent this tail shaft in a very slight bit. In this case it did. Which caused the transmission to vibrate itself loose. Because it's ever so slightly warped. Side to side right here from the output shaft. High speeds you'd feel it. You feel it at high speeds. Especially with 411 gear ratio. So the drive shaft is spinning its ass off and it's doing this. So this bearing got a nice case of smash. 
And that's a pretty thick plate right there that got that indentation, which gave me a lot of in play when I grabbed a tail shaft I could pull in and out. But let me finish explaining. This I'm fixing another transmission shop's problem here, okay? One that they didn't catch. They figured they was gonna kick kick me out of the door. Looks like it's time to clarify on tail shaft information too, because apparently there's nothing about that out there either. No, this it's it's all bullshit when you're trying to build these. Because everybody's got something they're trying to sell you on eBay, and they're selling you the wrong shit. So and how they, many different shafts they got for this? Well, let me guy. let me start off <laughs> let me start off by explaining this. There's a bunch of different shafts. Some without the speedo gear. If you're searching for one of these, you probably already know this. Some without this. Some with the reluctor wheel. Some with nothing. Some nope. with absolutely nothing. Nothing like the year 2000 has nothing. But a parking gear. But a parking gear yeah. on it like this. Wondering how the hell it reads speed. It reads speed from the rear end, okay? So there are so many different variants of this tail shaft, of this output shaft, it's mind boggling, okay? So to clarify, when these idiots are selling this shit on eBay, that you need to know, stop mislabeling part numbers. There are no part numbers on these shafts. There's nothing etched in the shaft anywhere. I can't read anything. I've went over this thing with a fucking magnifying glass. You cannot get a Ford part number on this shaft. All you can do is hope that some asshole gets it right. Well, I'm trying to help you, that asshole get it right. Even Ford parts giant is a little Even backward. Ford, Yeah, even Ford parts giant. The only thing helpful was identifying a transmission tag, and that was the only thing that was helpful. So this tail shaft right here, this specific one, identifies like this. It has seven splines. Seven splines speedo. Count from right here. I'll tell you that in a minute. It has a parking gear on it or not, but it has the room to beat a parking gear on it. All of them do, pretty much. They need that parking gear. It's 20 inches long, exactly. Not 26, not 14 like the four-wheel drive model. This is for a two-wheel drive model, okay? It has seven tooth speedo. It's identified as a seven tooth speedo. And it has a cup fucking plug. Okay? So this is how you identify this tail, this, this, this output shaft. Okay? Next, you count this way. Or if you want to be a, a dyslexic person, count this way. It doesn't really fucking matter. You put a white line on one of these teeth and you count the ridges starting from this end. You don't count this way because you come out with like 15 or something. You count this way. One, two, three, four. You get the message. We have seven on this. So this would make this a seven tooth. So when they refer to it as seven and eight tooth, the only two versions you're going to have for an E4OD or 4 on 100 with 7 or 8 tooth. You're not going to have 10 and 12 and 9 and whatever. That's for a C6, earlier model than this, pre-1989. And the shafts aren't even the same length. They're different lengths. And they're different lengths. 26 inches. Some of them are shorter. This is a standard 20 inch. Two wheel drive. For a modern day E4OD slash 4 on 100. The thing that makes it a good 4 on 100 variant is that it has a cup plug. So we know that this is a hybrid year where they were just introducing the 4 on 100 from the E4OD and making the upgrade slowly but surely. We know that because it has a cup plug, number one. Number two, it has bearings as opposed to thrush washers inside the internals and the transmissions. Where an E4OD would normally have thrust washers, it was updated with bearings. Roller bearings. So, we know that this is a technically a 4R100, even though guys say the way to identify the transmission is to make sure that it doesn't have this at the top of the transmission. A hole right here at the top. This is called a what? In, uh, turbine speed sensor or an input speed sensor input speed people. sensor turbine speed sensor whatever fucking name you want to call it yeah people should understand that some 4R100s do not have 
this turbine speed sensor. It's got a block off plate. It's got a block off plate like mine does. Early 2000s had a block off plate with no speedo gear, just a straight shaft. This was a. And it reads off the rear end. Yeah. Now, that's still a 40100 because of the year range. People need to understand that 1999 was the cusp year, unfortunately. And they, it's no surprise that they took an E40 detail shaft like this one. Made that a bit longer. Probably the same. Seven teeth. And all they did was beat the bushing out and stick a cup plug in it. And they said, okay, here's your 4 on 100 tail shaft. Oh, and by the way, we don't need this turbine speed sensor, so we're going to put a plastic block off plate on it. We're going to use the old extension housing that has the VSS going into the side. So I hope this explains the cusp year oh, and yeah. how that works. You remember we saw one shaft that had this, that had seven teeth here, but it was shorter. Yeah, Remember? it was a shorter, shorter set of spirals right Some here. Some of them don't have that. That doesn't here. mean anything. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything as long as you can count from here to here. My guess is, is if you had eight spirals, this would be shorter. Because it would make a more tighter rotation, therefore spinning it faster. Or vice versa. I don't know. I don't have time to figure that out. But you can. So I hope this helps identify... E40D slash 40100 tail shafts. If you ever have one that's bent or worn out here, or you need to replace one, or you're building a hot rod, or you're building a diesel, or you're building something else. And by the way, this is a gasoline tail shaft, and I'm not sure that they matter. I'm not quite sure. I'm hearing different, 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 uh, this is 30 teeth on the output shaft. I'm hearing different information. I'm hearing that the diesels use these too. However, the only thing different about the diesel is that the case here at the back has a much bigger seal. Yeah. Seal. That's it. And bushing, obviously. The bushing right here in the tail shaft, that bushing deep down in there, that bushing is bigger. But it still has the same output shaft. 30 teeth. Now your yoke is going to have... I'm sorry, this has 31 teeth. Your yoke has 30 teeth. Maybe maybe I'm confused here. Why don't we count them? Why don't we sit through this naggy-ass video and count them? Now, wait a second. I remember something. The yoke has 30 teeth, and it's got an extra um, an extra wide tooth. You know what I mean? A no, it's not tooth. a wide tooth. It's called a missing tooth. A missing tooth. one. So it has 31, but it's missing one. So it has 30 plus one. Yeah. 31 technically yeah missing that's a, a oil relief or something right yeah an anti-bind relief yeah they say 30 slash 31 when they say 30 slash 31 that's what they mean they mean that so this is 31 teeth sorry about the 30 this is 31 teeth so all these shafts are 31 teeth without even counting so hope helps us explain the output shafts on the 40100 uh, E40D and the early years and the years where they get on the cusp and they start Transport starts doing all these updates to their transmission Hope this helps explain to people that you got the reluctor wheel that's magnetic. It cannot read uh, The same sensor if you try to use a magnetic housing, I'm sure it would read funny to your PCM I don't think it'll substitute for the speedo VSS. They call it vehicle speed sensor here um, you got all those different variants. I remember some guy got so desperate that on a forum he started machining parts to add on to this shaft. Yeah, he he mach he got a shaft and he machined parts to make a speedo gear. He like to two PSS. clamps and a plastic gear that it clamped down here for. Right, he went and yeah. got like a a four R seventy or some other kind of plastic gear. And then not everybody's got <laughs> a machinist tool in their backyard. Right. So my point is, is that. If people are going to advertise this shit on eBay, they need to get it right. Please clarify how many teeth it's got. Okay, because this is, this is, this is, somebody shipped, shipped me this. It's supposed to be this. But it's not, obviously. You can look. You don't even have to open the box. Does that look like? No, this is 14 inches. I already know this is a four-wheel drive shaft. It's a short one. 14 inches. This is supposed to be the part number right here. 
And that's supposed to be the correct number. That's supposed to be the number that's for a the correct, eight tooth. That's a correct number for an eight tooth shaft. This is a seven. Okay, so I would have gotten an eight and just made some modifications with the plastic gear right here. The one that rides on that. The one that rides on here, I'd have just simply got a larger gear to ride on here to spin it at a slower revolution while this is spinning at a faster revolution. Yeah. Or vice versa. But this is supposed to be Ford's number and then DA behind it. But what's actually inside this box is a BA. A short four wheel drive shaft. BA, the same part number but BA behind it means 14 inch four wheel drive. No speedo gear, no nothing. Or as they call it on parts giant, the super duty model. The super duty model. So you got so many different variants of people who are confused and they don't know how to label this shit. This they one's called what they're what? doing. The seven tooth. What's one that one called? The C A, I think. This is called a C A. Same and part number, but C A behind it. Okay? That's just for the splines there. I have no idea what the reluctor wheel one. Now, called. nobody has been able to explain this. No transmission shops, no Transstar, no whatever it takes. None of these transmission vendors or parts distributors or video have, makers or video makers have been able to explain this shit to me. There's only one person in Washington that talked to me about this that knows exactly what the hell I'm going through. And I just happened to give him my business and tell him to airmail this thing to me second day. I mean, first day. So, so it's priority, super fast as you can get, extra $100, get it that shit to me get tomorrow. Get across the country, yeah. Yeah, send it over here with a Mexican rowing the boat as fast as you can. I don't give a shit, get it here. So it's coming. But I can tell you this. I mean, it's coming by mule with the coffee guy. Okay, it's probably coming with a free cup of coffee I paid so much money. But it's coming tomorrow morning so I can put this shit back together. So I hope this explains the frustration of falling down off your transmission. The dang rabbit holes of output shafts for this fucking tranny. All right, sorry for yelling in the video so loud, but not really. This is really fucking nerve-wracking with all the returns and all this other shit that you have to do. Now, with that said, the name of the company in Washington is... It was, um, it was like East Rock Transmission Parts or something like that. ERTP, I think, or ETRP or something like that. This guy's got a whole shit warehouse full of these parts. Now, granted, they're used. He knows how to check them to see if they're warped or if they're worn here and stuff like that. But, hey, at least we're getting something, right? He's the only guy that had this. He's the only guy that knows how to count splines. <laughs> no one, no one He's the only one that would explain how to count splines. No forms, no videos, nothing. Even though we kind of figured it out. You count from here. One, two, three, two, three, count. Yeah. Not the ridges, not the dips. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there because uh, this world is full of bullshit disinformation and it used to be so much better back when we had magazines and catalogs instead of the fucking disinformation internet. Thanks for watching the video.